do. So these bookends, although they look very chic and intricate, it's actually extremely simple. So you want to start with uh, the dowel. So the dowel is what was really the arrow, and you can get these at craft supply stores. I just, this is about a quarter inch. It's really yep. thin. Uh, and what you want to do is figure out your sizing. So I have my bookends here. Okay. With the bookends, I wanted something that you don't want the bookend to be the statement. The statement is the arrow. And so I got something that was really thin that I could control the color of. And so I just got something plain, but then you want to figure out your sizing. So for instance, I knew I wanted it to stick out just a little bit. Now be careful with this. You don't want them too long. Otherwise, it just could potentially fall out like that. Right, right. Uh, so once I figured out my sizing, I cut it using a jigsaw. You could also potentially cut it using a box cutter, kind of depending it's, on. If you get the small yes. enough. Yes. Yeah, sure. And you can see this is about the sizing that I went with uh, right here. Great. So I cut the dowels down. And I also added the, with some glitter scrapbook paper, I added the point to it. And so the arrow is actually what Ken did. Yes. And I couldn't find a better way to make an arrow than Ken thought of because it was just the perfect way. So this is on HallmarkChannel.com, of course, because Ken already did it. And it looks a li like a little template like this. And you cut out and you can create your own uh, little arrow. And little so that, arrowhead right there. And you want to kind of get that figured out, too, because that's going to affect your sizing. Okay. So you can see when I held it up, I knew it would be about this coming out about this much, and now, that was going to be a good size How do we me. attach the dowels to the actual uh, bookends that you got here? So I did find I was uh, nervous to put it on without, without, with just, uh, without securing it because it could be potentially top heavy. Right. So I wanted to make it very secure instead of just glue. So you can see what I did here. So I have these um, made out of wood and I put a hole in it. I'm gonna show you how you can do it, but the hole doesn't go all the way through. It's more of an indentation. So I have mine here, grab your ruler. And what you wanna do is find the center. Okay. So you can see I've already drawn an X. So to do that, you go one side to the other, of course, to do your X, mark yes. the center, and you have your uh, your center of your Bookend right there. Geometry class. Geometry 101. <laughs> I have my drill with my drill bit. The best way to find what okay. drill bit to use with your dowel is to line it up like this, and you want it to be about the same size. And all you do is you drill in a little bit like this, and I will just do a little bit to kind of get it started. What? Just to do that. And you could potentially keep going as you do this if it wasn't in far enough, because you don't want to go all the way through. Okay. But you want it to be able to fit perfectly. Give it a place to like live. That. I think that's really exactly. smart. You could put a little uh, dot of hot glue in there too, maybe you, yeah, if you wanted to. You could do hot sure. glue. You could okay. do wood glue uh, potentially. But you want it to be. Look that's that. how it's going to secure in that's there great. perfectly. Exactly. So then you do that with the other side as well. Okay. Beautiful. And that's what and we have over here. And now some uh, finishing touches, including paint. Yes. Yeah, so with painting with this, you could potentially paint it with uh, a brush. But I did find sort of as a happy accident I wouldn't I wanted the whole thing to be gold so I grabbed some gold spray paint go outside of course and spray it um, at a distance and I did find that having the scrapbook paper with the glitter on there makes it look really chic and realistic How about that? isn't that and the whole thing if you do that is going to be probably the chicest and uh, it looks like it's bought at a store if you do it that way Very you metallic. could do with this in white as well which I did over there you could do it in pink or red or any kind of color that you like uh, and then that just uh, covers it completely and I love these little details here for the feathers, you just kind of cut these out. Some, yep. uh, these are just, mark. it's just scrapbook paper. Cut it out. For the feathers. For the feathers on the back, and you would secure it just like this with some hot glue, and you have your little feathers. Super on the back. fun, Maria. I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right, full instructions as always available on our website. And Maria is taking ordinary tissue paper and turning it into something beautiful in just a few seconds.